birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. In today's episode, we are going to continue our time twisters and go to the mythological animatronic film set. You have been given the task of running and improving an existing theme park, which has been built on an old film set. Hmm. Build a tribute to the pioneering stop-motion animators who first brought mythological cre or mythical creatures to life on the silver screen. So the objective here is to achieve a park value of at least $320,000 at the end of- uh oh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, we have to achieve more park value than we did last time, and also do it by a certain time. So that's gonna kinda suck unless we start with a lot of stuff. So let's see what we have here. Ooh! Okay, so we do have a lot of stuff already, it seems. Let's see. Ooh, we have a lot of shops. Hmm. I think we're going to have to do a lot of management right away, you guys. Just because it seems like we have a lot of shops and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, so we do have admission price. That's good. That's good to know. Although I kind of would like rides to, you know, get get money from rides. But whatever. So I'm going to just go ahead and adjust that. Let's see. Park rating is good. Everything else is good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. How much is our current park value? That's not that bad. We don't have loans. Okay. That's always good to see. We do have some money. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe start advertising for the park. Because... You know, that one always works pretty well. And I will probably just do um, some other advertisements for like half and half price entry. I don't know if I want to do free entry though, because that's really not going to get us much money. But I will do the food and drink one as well, just because that's also going to bring in a, quite a few people who are like, hey, well, I definitely want that. And let's see, you could probably go for some. It's pretty cold, so I don't want to do that. Let's do for some fried chicken. I'm pretty sure people love their fried chicken. So let's go for that there. And that's about all I'm going to run for now because I don't know how old these rides are. Or like, maybe they just are fresh, brand new because we only just started. I don't know. Hmm. Time since last since Yeah, okay. They've been around for a while. So I'm going to make sure that I don't do anything for these guys because they don't need that attention right now. People know they exist. Obviously, we have a lot of guests in the park, so they know they exist. And let's see. For our research, we're going to tick off these guys here because we already have plenty of roller coasters to start with. We always have plenty of roller coasters. And also, we don't really want to work towards roller coasters right at the beginning because... They tend to, I don't know, they just, they just aren't the best to place at the beginning when you have very little money, especially since we are only working with 4,000 bucks. Definitely want to save as much of that as possible for some smaller rides. I see that we have a lot of shops and other uh, stalls and whatnot. And so, oh my gosh, there's like a million and one information booths. What, what is going on over here? All right, we have a, a lot of shops and facilities. So that means I definitely want to go ahead and manage this first. I may want to actually, how much staff do we have? <laughs> okay, no. You're fired. And I'm going to fire maybe, uh, I don't know, six of these guys. I'm pretty sure we don't need this many. And if we do, well, I'll change things up. But I'm, again, I'm just pretty, pretty sure that we can just assign some of them to certain areas and they'll be good. We'll be all set with that. And I'm going to leave, let's see, I, can, I guess I can leave just uh, two of them roaming for now. I'll change their the area soon. Nope, no worries about that. Unless they are all assigned to their own specific areas within the park that's already existing, then we don't really need to do much else. Oh boy. <laughs> I almost broke the game. Never mind. I'm not going to do that anymore. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to fire these guys here. We think we could keep, let's see, we have nine right now, so now we have eight. Hmm. I guess six, maybe? I, I don't know if that's going to be too few, but I really hope that's good, that's good enough. And hopefully we do not have very many... Oh, gosh. I mean, we do have a lot of shops and stuff, so that means we have a lot of benches, but I really, really do not enjoy this idea. Like, where are you? Okay, you're over here. Oh, fine. You're there, but do, do we have another one that's in the same area? Because if we do, then that's a problem. That's, that's kind of what I'm getting at. All right, so you're over here. Do we have any... Uh, we don't really have much there. All right, you're fired. Cause you don't, we don't need somebody there, please. All right, and where are you, sir? Just to make sure that you know we have actual like shops and benches and whatnot there. We don't really have much there either. I mean, the shops and benches are over here, and that's clearly marked by somebody else. So you're fired because we don't need you. And let's see, we're all the way up to here right now. You, sir, are the one who actually belongs there. Good. All right, where are you working? Because I need to make sure that you're covering something good. You're covering this area here. You're covering a massive, massive area, which I think I'm going to actually remove you from because we don't need that much covered by this guy. He just needs to make sure that he covers these shops because, again, that's where I found people like to mess things up for some reason. They just like to wreck th that kind of stuff. And I know we have a lot of bins and benches over here, and that would be nice for him to patrol this. But again, it's not necessarily... Oh, it looks like we have somebody else here, too. Uh-oh. So I might be able to fire this guy, then, because it looks like we definitely have somebody else on this job. All right, you're fired. 
<laughs> Didn't expect to do that, but sure. Aha, uh-huh, you are the one who do- does this area. All right, fine. I'll let, I'll let this happen just because we probably have some more stuff over there. That's fair. Let's see. Security guard number four. We have you down here. You are not really good at anything here because, well, our shops are in this area, so you're fired. Wow. We're going to save a lot of money this way, you guys. We're going to save a lot of money this way. Uh, let's see. You're not really watching any other shops. There's probably somebody else over there. All right. Wait, is there? There's nobody there. Okay, we're going to make sure that we keep you then, because you're clearly actually useful. So security guard number three, you get to say congratulations. As for you, sir, let's see. You're watching that area. There's... You know, you're fired. You're definitely fired. We don't need you at all. We really don't need you. As for what are you, sir, let's see. You're watching the front area. You can stay then. All right, so five security guards. That's not that bad. And, oh, my gosh, really? $55 per month, and we probably don't even need them. All right, I'm firing them all. We, we probably just do not need this at all. Like, I know that, you know, they're, surra- they're probably in, like, certain areas like that, but, uh, it's not really that important. All that is important to me right now is saving money and also making money. <laughs> That's all we really need to do to get this park a buzzing and actually, you know, valuable. And if removing these guys makes it less valuable, well, my bad. I will just reinstate them. But hopefully this is going to save us a little bit more money and that way we can earn a lot more. So, right. I was going to do these shops. Let's see. The shops are over here. So let's see. We have a, quite a few rides. You don't really have to fix anything there. These guys, though, we could probably go ahead and do something about the pricing, huh? A dollar fifty? No, I don't think so. We're gonna go for a dollar eighty on the burgers and make sure that every burger bar is the same, so we don't have to change each of them individually. As for you, maybe the same thing. Although we could probably go for two bucks, but eh, I don't really want to raise it too much because sometimes people do complain. Oh, we only have one donut shop. That's a little bit sad. I'm g- I guess we're gonna charge ninety cents for a donut because I think a dollar is probably way too much. Although donuts, mm, now I want a donut. Come on, come on, game. Why must you? <laughs> why must you make this happen? Uh, drink stall, there we go. Fry stall, let's see what we have here. A dollar eighty for that. I like that the food is mostly priced the same, because that just gives me like a, a standard to go by, right? Let's see, a dollar fifty for that guy. Make sure that every lemonade stand that we ever place is gonna be the same thing there. Popcorn stall, why, why do we have so many variations of food and drink here? Like, seriously, this park is probably the more varied than most of my other parks. And we have souvenir stall, so we should be selling umbrellas here. Gotta make sure that these umbrellas are gonna be five buckaroonies each and let's see the cuddly toy can probably be five bucks too but i'm pretty sure that it has less use so i'm gonna go for just maybe three maybe three dollars is fair i don't know hopefully that works let's see that's purple good good and t-shirt stall gonna make sure that of course we have this as purple as well and we are charging an arm and leg for this because if we're not then we are missing out all right there we go t-shirt stall good and i am scared to go over here but uh, let's see we have a cash machine i guess these can all stay for oh I was like, I'm pretty sure this is going to all stay free. No, not the information booth. Let's see. That's going to be purple there, and we have to make sure that we charge 80 cents for the map. Otherwise, we are not making as much money as we should. And it looks like I just have to change the color now of all of these guys. Oh, that's close to purple, but it's not close enough. And we have six of these. I'm not so sure if I want to keep all these open, but since this park is so widespread, I think it might be for the best just to keep them all open because well if we need umbrellas at any one point they're going to be all running to the front of the park and that's not good because then they might decide to just leave right all right i already did that one so i only have five and six left to go not a problem not a problem hopefully this is going to be just the easier part of this because uh well if uh this doesn't become more of a challenge then i'm gonna question why this is one of the challenging parks anyway there we go everything is all set and ready to go hopefully that's gonna be fair pricing there and we have this at 50 bucks right all right, so hopefully that's also fair pricing, especially since we have the half price uh, promotion going on. And I believe we don't need anything else. Now it's just a matter of placing some rides now. So let's take a look at what rides we do have here because I have not looked at that just yet. So we have the monorail. I think we already, I think I saw a monorail, didn't I? Underground, underground, wait, what, 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 what? Underground, where? <laughs> where exactly is it? I see a chairlift over here. I don't see underground. That's a roller coaster. This says um the observation tower. This is a uh, chairlift. Aha, uh-huh. this is the oh, oh, huh. So they are actually underground. No wonder I couldn't see them. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. We have a chairlift. We, I think we already have the monorail cycles, right? Uh, let's see. Monorail, 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 garden monorails. There we go. So we don't have the river sticks, though. River of the Darned. Oh, okay. Sure. I mean, that's pretty cheap to get. So what the heck? Why not? We could probably hopefully do it over here. Hmm. Or, oh, wait, 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 wait. You can do it there. 
However, will this destroy a lot of scenery? That's what I'm worried about. Maybe I could probably do it closer over here. Sure, let's try this. Although I have a feeling if I do it with a lot of supports, it's going to cost us an arm and a leg too. So maybe if I do it over here somehow, can we fit it here? Mm -mm. God dang it. I was hoping we could just because that would save us a little bit of money. Although we could do it here. And I'm pretty sure that this area is just not allowed to, people aren't allowed to go in there. So this is, should be fine. Let's see, if I try to do something like this, we can actually have people walking through this area, and that might work. Although, hmm, a part of me then wants to just do it over here, just because. Let's see, can we actually do it somewhere in here? No, we really can't. All right, fine, we'll go for this, just because that'll hopefully work for us. Let's see, our path is right over there. Gotta make sure that we have our scenery kept into the park. There we go, all right, four thousand. <laughs> that was most of our money. <laughs> oh, gosh. The feeling is not good, you guys. That is not a good feeling at all. All right, so let's go ahead and connect this right to maybe a down there. Can we connect it straight out? Oh, that goes uh, like this. Nope, back a little bit more. And we can go back a little bit more. Uh-huh, uh-huh, good. All right, so let's just open that one up. And we can even make a double path. We can connect that right through there. But I do know if I want to do that. Just have people like walk around the corner. That should be fine. We should be good there. All right, so, I mean, that works. I like how there's skeletons here. That means that it probably should have gone somewhere over here, but, eh, whatever. Apparently, there's going to be no rhyme or reason to this, especially since these areas, we can't use them unless we overlap something here. So, I mean, we may be able to do some coasters over these, so that might not be that bad for, for you know, in the future, because I'm not going to do coasters right away. All right, so there you go. There's one ride. Uh, we have all of these then. Good. And now we have these guys. So we already have monorail cycles. We do not, however, have... This, but I didn't see any water. We have these, these. Ah, oh, we don't have my... Oh, green. Fine, we'll go for green. We do not have these guys, though, so we can definitely get some of these. Uh, let's see. Where do we want to place them, though? That's the thing. Well, we do have some area over here that really has nothing going for it, so we could do that here just to bring people back to this area and make sure that maybe... Hmm. I think we could use this for a lot of rides just because it seems like it's pretty wide open. And I'm pretty sure that we won't be able to place a coaster here because of the this guy here, the chair left. So sure, let's try to work with this guy here. Let's see, we want to make sure that we have our other paths just like this. We are destroying some benches and whatnot, but hey, you can find somewhere else to sit, because trust me, there's plenty of places to sit. And let's see, can I actually do this in there? Yes, I can. Good. All right. Uh oh, what? Uh -oh, hold on. What, what am I building on here? <laughs> ah, there might be a little bit of a slope. Gotcha. All right. I did not notice that. My bad. There we go. So we could just do this just like this. That's not that difficult to deal with. It's easy peasy problem. All right. There we go. Bring it out this way. Bring it out this way and this way. And then we have to bring it out straight so we can actually connect it with the path because clearly the path is not even connected right now. I don't know why I thought that was connected, but no, definitely not happening. All right. So let's bring it out through there and turn this guy right up in here so we can make sure that we connect it right there while we have yet to actually draw up a proper path. Good. All right. So pop that guy open to make sure that we have our ooh, music. Oh, yeah. Make sure that we have our classical Roman theming thing going on there, even though clearly it's not that kind of ride. But hey, whatever, right? Whatever. All right, so that is definitely connected. We can probably get a path up through here, and that'll work pretty well for us. Sure, let's do that so we can actually add some more rides back here. We do have quite a bit of money because it seems like people have been coming in here, so that's always nice. And let's see, Park Valley is going up steadily, so we just have to continue placing more rides to get this going. So, Pegasus Ride, do oh my gosh, this is beautiful, and I'm pretty sure we don't have this. However... It'll fit. It'll fit, you guys. It'll definitely fit. We just have to, like, put it exactly there and nowhere else. So, chairlift broke. Oh, that sucks. That actually does suck, though. So, uh, let's see. Where is our entrance, though? I need to make sure that we have a good entrance exit going on here. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck. This will work. This will work. Uh-oh. We don't have enough money. Oh, come on. We're so close to getting that much money. Is there another better place that we could put it in? Somewhere a little bit, bit uh, flatter, I suppose? Because clearly... This needs a flat location. This is not flat enough at all. There's nowhere that's flat. This park is just one hot mess. What? what we can't do anything here? Uh, ash tree with nymphs is in... Oh, come on. Oh, ooh, maybe here? I don't see any way to enter. Oh, no, there's definitely an entrance here. All right, so can we... Nope, that's actually more expensive. What the heck? Oh boy, there's all, all these uh, senior pieces are just taking up way too much space. All right, fine. We'll just uh, wait to do it here. We should have more than enough money right now. So, I mean, this should be fine. Let's see, scooch it over just a little bit over here. And we can probably do our path right through there if need be. Actually, I want to keep it right here. 
Hey, there we go. It cost us most of our money, but hey. Hopefully, this is going to be a great ride, because otherwise, we are absolutely screwed here. Oh, do we, wait. Do we have extra footpathing? <gasps> no way! Oh, that is so cool! But no, I want to keep using this one just because. All right, so let's go ahead and do ourselves some nice wooden pathing up through here. Dump it down. Oh, that's a... It's perfect. It's perfect. All right. Open up the Pegasus there. And we have one ride going over the other. But this is really just the underground monorail. So it doesn't matter that much. It just goes right underground. So, hey. There we go. And are there aliens in there? Are those plants? Huh. Hmm. Interesting park, you guys. This is a very interesting park. Anyway, let's see. We do Now we have all of these except for this guy right here. So this guy, it's always pretty small, so we know that we can fit it in just about any place. We could fit it here easily. However, I don't know if I want to do that just because we need to leave some room for queues. Although we could probably queue it right through here, huh? Alternatively, we could probably just do it right here. Ooh, the house right by the woods. Yeah, I like that idea for sure, for sure. Let's see. We need to make sure, that though, that we leave enough space for a queue. I don't know if we want a sizable queue here just because... I wonder if I can actually get a path up through there. Uh-oh. I'm going to have to do the queue on this side just because. I could probably just do it here and then bring it out. Yeah, that might work. That might work. And for our exit, we're going to just have it right there because it's going to connect pretty easily. Alright, so let's pop that guy right down there, and these guy, we are going to have to have it sticking out that way. Uh-huh. Can you bring it out this way? You can. And let's see, I mean, for the optimal queue, we're just going to have to swing it around this side, so let's try that and see if that'll work for us. So one, two, three. I'm surprised that we're not destroying too much, because <laughs> honestly, I expected us to. Sure, let's do this, and just like that, hey, it works for me. Alright, so we are a nice little house, a weird house in the woods. Nice. Alright, so that's another one. Oh, wait, let me just make sure that we have our Roman entrance going on there. And it seems like right now we aren't really making as much money as we were before. Hmm. Our marketing's still running, right? Yeah, we still have quite a long time on that, so we should hopefully get some more people. Let's just, uh, just make it a little bit speedier. That way we can actually get some more stuff going on here. So, we have all of these guys already. This is why we need to focus our mini golf. Hmm. I don't know if we actually have any room for that, but sure. Neptune's Ride. Let's oh, see, we have these. We can get that one soon. Neptune's Ride and the Pirate Ship. Sure, these are pretty flat rides, right? Yeah, these are definitely flat rides. Alright, so I mean, we could go ahead and probably do this one over here, make it so that we have our queue on the outside like I was trying to do with the other one. That might be okay. Let's just try that there and do our queue somewhere over here, our exit right there, and let's make sure that we connect our exit right away, because that way... We'll know if this works. It works! Hey, that works for me. Alright, and as for this guy, it has to stick out because unfortunately it's going to have to go underneath all this stuff. Or it can't. It really can't. Okay, that's okay. That's definitely okay. We can just move this guy over to here. And, okay, mini golf. No, we have the mini golf. And hopefully this will still work for us. So let's see. Can we actually bring this through here anyway? No, the chairlift is always going to be in the way. All right, fair. So we'll just have people entering through here, even though it kind of sucks that they're not going to connect right away. But hey, it, it happens sometimes. All right, let's make sure that we have ourselves our uh, not an abstract. I wish. I wish you had that kind of theming going on here. But no, it has to be the classical Roman. Otherwise, it doesn't look right. All right, there we go. So we have more rides. And we have 5,000 buckaroonies. I mean, that feels good because then we'll be able to afford the... Uh, the marketing again once we get to that point. Anyway, we do have one more ride that we have yet to place. This guy right here, it's pretty small. So, I mean, we could fit it in many places. Hmm. Where exactly do we want to place this guy? Maybe right here? It seems fair. We could probably put the uh, exit in the back and have a very short entrance. Ooh. How about right here? Because these rides are all pretty close together, right? So, we could definitely do that here. All right. Oh, gosh, it's green. All right, whatever. It's going to have to stay green because I am not changing that. And let's see, we want to go ahead and, hey, there's the rain. There's the rain that's going to make us millionaires because uh, the rain is always good for us. Always, always good for, uh-oh. Well, we could have ver something very, very short like that. Can we actually go up with this? That is not the way you go up. You go up like this. Uh-huh. So we can go up with this and then fly it out. Good. Perfect. All right. That's what I was looking for. And there we go. Pop that guy open. And that's the last one that we really have to deal with. Let's make sure, though, again, that we have our classical Roman entrance just because we're going to need that. And we did make quite a bit of money. We have $8,000 now. So, hey, roller coasters are going to be coming in pretty soon. But what else do we have left? We have all these guys now. Ah, oh, guess we're going to play. Oh, are you kidding me? We, we cleared up extra handyman just so we can make more money, and apparently that's not good enough. All right, fine. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Five more. Hopefully they can clean up all the messes that I haven't made. Because, uh, well, 
never good that there are extra messes all over the place because people hate our lives when, you know... Oh boy, yeah, that dipped. Hardcore. Alright, fine. I'll also hire... Let's see, one entertainer. And let's see, that's a Roman costume. That is perfect. Good. We're going to make sure that we assign him to a specific area. Though I believe there was one right in this area here. So let's just make sure that he hangs out there. Maybe around here too, just in case. And we can also do is get one for just the entrance. That way we can have uh, we can be entertaining people right as they enter, right? Let's go ahead and do something like that there and make sure that this guy just hangs out in this area. All right, there we go. And make sure that he's also a Roman guy. Otherwise, it's going to look a little bit weird. All right, and that hopefully will help us out a little bit. We have Cookie Shop. Not really what I was looking for, but that's okay. And hey, look at that. Our park rating actually went up. Good. Although we don't really have to balance our park rating now, but I'm eh, kind of used to it <laughs> at this point. All right, so we have King Rapids. Where can we place King Rapids that it'll actually look proper? We can definitely shove it there, but I would like to put it within it. Uh-oh, our marketing just ended. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We have to change things up. We have to make sure that we rerun that because that earned us a butt ton of cash. We need to keep going with a butt ton of cash. So let's see, half price into the park. We're around that one immediately because, of course, that one gets people paying 25 bucks as they enter, and that's still good. For the food or drink, I suppose we can actually give them some burgers because, well, burgers are probably one of the more expensive items, sure. And then we're going to go ahead and run this one because, of course, this one always brings in a lot of people. It's going to cost as much, but it does, you know, it seems like it pays itself off eventually. Anyway. Let's go back to King Rapids, because that's the last ride that we have, well, besides mini golf. That's the last ride that we have that we can maybe play sometime soon. I kind of like the idea of it going somewhere over here, just because then we can uh, connect to the path that's right there, and it also has the scenery from that, but I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if I really want that going there. Hmm. Let's see, where else might it be able to fit here? Because it seems like it's a very finicky ride. We can't even put it over there. That's okay. We could definitely put it here. However, again, it's going to be kind of boring looking. And I don't know if you are going to be okay with that. I really don't think so. We, ooh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I kind of like this idea. Let's see how far back we can go with this. Okay, just until there. Uh, I don't really like the way that the entrance and exit is, like, in that certain area there. I want to make it, yeah, in the middle. All right, let's try that. And hopefully, oh, that just got rid of those two things. Oh, well, I mean, whatever. All of what we should care about is the ride, right? All right, so let's go ahead and dump this guy all the way down. Oh, we can't do that because the ride is in the way. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go flat. Can we go down? No, we can't go down. My, how am I supposed to place this? Exactly how am I supposed to place this? Where am I supposed to place this, honestly? Because uh, I don't see any way that we can go with this. Hello. <laughs> That's weird. That is definitely weird. All right, let's delete that piece. And apparently this is not supposed to go here. If I put it there, I mean, that's really not going to work either. 3D cinema has not been fixed. Well, we have like a million and one uh, mechanics. There should definitely be somebody on that job. Anyway, let's just uh, see if we can actually do that. I'm pretty sure that there's no way to get this done at all in here. So I might have to actually remove this ride. That means we deleted all that scenery for absolutely no reason. Or I could maybe place it back here. Huh. All right, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that one there. And I want to place this one maybe back here. Although it seems like that's not going to work either. Maybe there and maybe there. Huh. Let's try that. And let's see, for our queue, let's try this guy right in through. Oh boy, can't see. There, okay, good. Can you bring it down? No, we can't bring it down. All right, so we can bring it there, and we can probably bring it. Aha! So the thing is, the thing about this is we can't bring it down is that I can do this, but we're not going to have the path coming in through here in any way, shape, or form. It won't be fitting, basically. Hmm. Can somebody tell me what was in the way? Let's see. What was in the way? Because it should have told me what is actually in the way of this. That we can't actually get a proper path. That is not a proper path at all. My gosh. All right. Let's try that again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We can go down now? We can go up. Oh, we can go up. Can't we? Um, but where are you going to connect? That's a problem with this. We don't really have anywhere we can connect with this. Uh, let's see. We can probably just go up. Up. Flat. Mm-hmm. Turn it this way. Uh-huh. Then go down, down, down. Oh, no, no, not further down, apparently. We have to... Ooh, do we have to go that high up? Let's see. Do we have to actually... Okay, I, I guess we do. Okay, fine. Wait, I can probably go back one, and we do... We definitely have to go up. Oh, jeez. I was trying to cheat a little bit just so we can have extra room, but that's not going to work out so well for us. Oh, well, I mean, that's fine. And 3D... Okay, yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the mechanics, so I have to fix that in just a moment. I just want to make sure that I have this guy going just about right. Let's see. I want to make sure that we do that there. Maybe flatten it out here, and then flatten it out over here, and then turn and dump it down. Oh, boy. I wish we had extra room. I really do. That way we could have gotten this guy a little bit better. But whatever. 
this, this, and flat, and that should connect right there with our paths. Good. This is going to be the weirdest exit, but hey, that works for me. And as for our entrance, this should be a little bit easier to do, since we, of course, can bring out here and then connect it right through there, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Grab this guy here. Make sure that this guy is right over there. There we go. So we can bring it through here. And we bring it out through here. And can we continue? Oh, yeah, we can continue right through here. All right, good. And let's bring it through here and then down. Just so we can maybe... Can we get rid of some of that path there? There we go. Good. And... Bring it right there. Good. All right. So pop that guy open since it's definitely connected. And we have that little piece of path there that doesn't need to exist. Good. All right. So there we go. All right. So 3D Cinema has nothing going for it right now. There's uh, apparently no mechanic on top of this area. Yeah, it looks like that might be the case. And also I see some broken benches. So it probably would have been nice to keep uh, certain people. Let's see. You're trying to get to 3D Cinema. You are very far away. And for some reason, you cannot reach it. Ah, because you're not connected through here. Gotcha. All right, problem solved. There we go. Hopefully you can get there now. Let's just go ahead and dump you there, and hopefully you'll get the call again. So that way you can fix it, because I don't know who else is going to fix it. It doesn't look like anybody is actually in the range of it. Answering radio call, good. And should be for 3D Cinema, please and thank you. There we go. All right, that should get fixed in no time. Whew. Okay, problem taken care of, and we saw a lot of money. We can definitely get a little bit more money, though, by going a little bit faster. And now, we do have a mini golf, which we can work with. So, I mean, that's definitely going to probably be the next thing. And let's see, are people actually going over here? Oh, I didn't even change this. <laughs> Two people on the queue. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and change this, though, to the Roman one, just because that fits. And motion simulator broke down. We should hopefully have somebody there. If not, I'm going to th throw somebody on there. And let's see. So, more rain always means more money. That's always good. Our mini golf. Let's see. We have it right over here. And mini golf, garden golf doesn't really have any design, scenery, or anything like this. We can probably place it somewhere that's nice and flat, which is basically nowhere. <laughs> basically nowhere. Oh, look at this. It goes right here at the very end. So I mean, we can make it over here. Where's our entrance and exit? Over there. Uh, yeah, we could probably do that there. Unless there's a better spot for this somewhere over. What? Did it just fit here? I swear. I, oh, yeah. I was like, I, I swear, I just saw a second where it actually would go here. That's going to be weird, though. That's going to be very, very bizarre. And I just saw that we had a little bit of a problem with something. I'm not sure what it was. I really hope that I can see that again. Just a second so we can fix it. Ooh, a launched free fall. Maybe. All right, I'm going to go for the golf right over here just because this might be pretty cool. So let's see. Our entrance is on this side. Our exit is right over here. We can probably connect it right through there, which means we're going to have to destroy those poor, poor benches. But hey, that's okay. It happens. It happens, right, you guys? Let's see. River of the Dam still hasn't been fixed. Okay, so there's nobody on this ride. That's okay, because we can definitely fix this. There's definitely nobody on this ride, because we know. We know why. We know that uh, we did not actually get any mechanic to go on this. So let's make sure that we have a mechanic in this area to fix this ride and basically anything else that uh, is within this range. If I actually place any rides over here, I guess this guy will take care of that. Let's see. You can probably also take care of this. Even though I see that there's already somebody on here, but this is okay. This is definitely okay because, of course, like I said, we're going to build more rides through here. And that should be more than enough for him because, well, we'll soon get something coming up in here. All right, there we go. Mechanic number one should be able to take care of that. I actually didn't probably place him there, huh? No, I did not. All right, let's place him right over here so he can actually get to what he needs to do. And that should be all right. Okay, so let's work on this golf. Let's just slow this guy down so we can actually get this connected properly. And let's see, our path. So, right, we need to go up with this path. Let's just make sure that we grab this guy right over in the other way. There we go. Up. Up, 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 up. Good. And can we fly this guy out? We can. Good. And now, I am so sorry, you guys, but we need that bench. Thanks. Whew. Okay, so that guy's gone, and now all that we need really is our queue coming in here. So I can probably just zoom it around to here to connect it through there, so that might be good. Let's see, I want to bring it through over here. Uh-huh. And we're going to have to go up. Oh, we are. Going to have to go up a little bit sooner. All right, so then like, ooh, a little bit sooner than that? Yep, apparently so. All right, that's fine. So I want to go ahead and bring it out this way, bring it out this way. Three, and bring out one more so we can actually connect it right there where the exit is, right? Let's see, one, two, and three. Can I do it there? No, I can actually flatten it, though. All right, proper. Not really the nicest looking queue ever, but hey, it works. It works, and that's all that I need right now. I need, I need functionality. All right, so what I want to do is I actually want to hire two more mechanics. So that way they'll just uh, free roam because we need some free roaming ones. Clearly we need free roaming ones. Otherwise, some of these rides are never going to get fixed. And that should help. So, I mean, we've been earning quite a lot of money, so I'm not at all concerned with that. And also what we should probably do is just switch this to maximum. That way we can get some more rides. Let's see. What did we do? A uh, launch free fall. So we can now do the launch free fall. Ooh, wait. Do we have any other shops? Neptune Seafood. So are you kidding me? Did I not put that guy on there? Responding to River... Yeah. Yeah. You. Wait. Whoa. whoa hold on. Where are you actually situated? 
Let me just uh, find you, sir. You're trying, but you don't belong there. It's this other guy who's being dumb. All right, fine. I'll just attach you here. And that way you can actually reach this ride. There we go. Is that, is that easier now? You can actually come over here. Here. If uh, mechanic number whatever does not want to do this jo his job, then you can do it. All right. Problem solved there. All right. So I was thinking maybe we can place other things so we can actually, you know, sell more things and have people buying some hats. Oh, my gosh. Why do, why do we not have a hat stall? That sucks. Uh, let's see. Well, we do have this area over here. We could probably have people buying hats over this way. Sure. Let's go ahead and sell some purple hats over here at three bucks a peach. A peach? I mean, let's sell peaches, sure. Uh, three bucks a piece just because money. Oh, yeah. All right, open up the random hat stall right there, and hopefully we can make some money from that. And we can also sell balloons, but I feel like balloons never really earn us much money. Right, so as I said, the <laughs> launch free fall. Let's do this. Let's do this before we uh, get another ride. Oh, boy, this is going to look ugly, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to look super ugly. Hmm, maybe we can shove it in some trees and not have to look at it. Or, oh, actually, we can't really place it there. Hmm. Maybe we could actually shove it in some trees and not look at it. That would not be that bad. Although the path is a little bit wonky because it goes, like, down the stairs and then we can always connect it somehow. So, sure. Let's try to bring this into the middle as close as is possible. That way we can actually have this looking kind of like a center point here. Although we can't really remove... I mean, I guess we can remove that tree, but I don't think I want to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and do... Our are you kidding me? Okay, what is up with these mechanics? Let's see. Responding. Uh-huh. Are, are you actually responding or are you walking away? You're walking away, you dummy. Come over here. You're on this whole... Oh, wait. Uh, um, he wasn't actually on the whole ride. My bad. No wonder. That was my bad, you guys. I accept responsibility for that. Anyway, let's see. So we want to go ahead and make sure that our exits and our entrances are, of course, the Roman. And we want to go ahead and... Let's see. We're maybe work on this one first just because we might have issues with that. So this is, of course, uh, standing up a little bit. Is it? Is it? It's raised. It totally is. All right. So at least I noticed that first. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our cues. Um, huh. I mean, our ent our paths are going to be right there. So this is going to be a little bit funky. I kind of want to move this guy over, actually, just to get away from that one. And let's see. Maybe I want to start with our regular paths first, just so I can find a proper place to connect this. Although I could maybe do something like this. Oh, boy. What's happening over here? <laughs> I can't see it. So I'm just going to assume that we are not even close to connected. We are now. All right. So let's flatten that guy up, bring it back, and then swing it out this way. Uh-huh. And this is what? Oh, oh, oh. I was like, what is going on here? Well, apparently I can't do that because guess what, you guys? It doesn't work that way. All right. So do this and flat. There we go. And swing it out this way. Uh-huh. And I suppose we're going to do... Nope, you can't do that. You can't do that. All right, I'm flat down there. Apparently, we can't do that either. Hmm. Well, I might have to make this path on the backside just because clearly this isn't working. Although, we could probably do it here, huh? Sure, let's try that. Let's try that just because. All right, so get, get rid of you, and we're going to do you right over here. All right. So, let's try to find ourselves a nice area where we can actually pull this path up. Otherwise, we are not getting this working for us at all. So, this path actually comes from over here. Aha. Aha, I think I got it, you guys. I think I have it. All right, so let's grab the path from, let's see, somewhere over here. And can we go up? Garden Golf is in the way. This was very poorly placed. I, I placed this very, very badly. I, I accept that. I accept that I did that. Well, we could always do it on this side then, because obviously that other side isn't working. So let's see. We should be able to actually find ourselves a nice path somewhere up in here. Let's grab this guy and make sure that we lift it up. There we go. And can we actually connect to this guy? It looks like we might be able to, but I'm going a little bit too high. Uh-oh. There we go. Hey, problem solved. All right. So we can probably connect our queue right there so it won't be super massive, right? So let's try that and see if we can get that one, too. Because remember, people wait for this ride forever once we actually, when we usually have our uh, usual scenery, so I don't want them waiting for like 5,000 years here. And then dump it down just because we're going to need... Wait, are we here? Are we here? I think I went a little bit too far, huh? Yeah, I'm going to assume that I did. My bad. All right, so let's just uh, grab this here and then connect it from this area. Oh, other way. Uh, other way. 
There we go. Ah, I didn't go far enough. That's all that was. Gotcha. All right, problem solved. There we go. We have our, everything connected, and let's got, open this guy up. And now we have a cotton candy soul, so that's not even a ride. <laughs> that is not a ride at all, so we don't even need to place that. Well, I guess maybe we should probably focus on researching some more rides, because we're going to need quite a few of those in just a moment. We have not really been researching too many other things, and well, we have enough things to eat and buy and whatnot, so what the heck. Let's do that, and hopefully we'll get some more rides for the next episode because that is it for this episode of roller coaster tycoon 2 if you enjoyed hit that like button to show your support and do subscribe if you already haven't but anyways, as always thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night